Rachel. Oh no. Rachel. Oh no, no, no. It's that time. Oh no. You thought I forgot about it, didn't you? I hoped. Oh, there's still three things. Wow. I thought maybe we were only going to do two. No. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah i thought maybe we were getting out of fear factor because we didn't have a can opener we thought about canceling this fear factor because we only had two things then you found things you could and open. then i found this in the cabinet so sorry about the lighting every time we sit down and do it the light shifts because there's like trees and not trees and so yeah we're gonna work the best we can we're outdoors welcome to Fear factor number nine. Now, if we were in a zombie apocalypse, we'd have much more things to worry about than just shade. Um, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. I feel like we should have grabbed some pork rinds, but yeah, maybe I should go grab some pork rinds. But here's what we have. We have boneless, skinless cooked ham. In a can. That's in a can, fully cooked, ready to eat. This just reminds me of my favorite Christmas movie. Christmas with a crank. I am looking for a ham, a hickory honey ham. If there are any left, They'll be back there. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Excuse me. Happy holidays. I don't think this tastes quite as delicious. Then we have Back Road Country Red Hot Hot Polish Sausage. We I'm... got this at like a little Amish farm, right? Yeah, I'm actually really excited about that. And then we have Underwood Canned Roast Beef Spread. No, I'm not excited about this at all. I'm kind of excited about this, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to no. pause right here. Okay. I'm going to go get pork rinds and we're going to eat this on pork rinds. It'll give it its best shot. I'm always suspect about something who has like a devil <laughs> as like their spokesperson. Okay, so so happens that we just did a review for the pork and good the brand new flavor the smoky jalapeno and cheese flavor um we're not affiliates of them but they taste really good i'll put a link for these down in the description and we do have this. a coupon code it's two crazy ketos that'll get you 10 percent off again we don't make any money but we do tell them we want a coupon code if we're going to tell anybody about this stuff because we want to save you guys money yeah you want to start off with that yeah you want to know what's in it yeah, kind of, but not kind of. It's, it's, there's definitely a lot working here. Okay. So there's beef, thank goodness. Okay. Water, seasoning, which is potato flour, salt, non fat, dry milk, hydrologized vegetable protein, corn, soy, wheat gluten, yeast, monosodium glutamate, sugar, yeast extract, spice, onion powder, turmeric, natural flavor, and caramel color. However, it is only two carbs per a fourth of a cup, and there's actually two servings in this. Okay, so if you eat the whole can, it's four carbs. It's just lots of garbage. It's a lot of garbage. <laughs> it's just garbage. But it's you know, lots of garbage. A zombie is chasing you. You're hiding out. You just want to eat something. You're not as worried about it. 140 calories per serving, so 280 calories per can. 10 grams of fat per serving, 9 grams of protein, and like you said, two total carbohydrates. But you you do love getting like a can of meat where it's like, don't eat this if you, you know, have celiac because you, there's so much wheat in it. Questions or comments? Call. <laughs> Why? This is Probably one of those things where you, you can take question. the label off and play, guess what you're eating tonight? Aww. Mystery meat, for real. For me, every time I open up the can. It's going to look like dog food. And like, it's so pureed. And smell like dog food. Oh my gosh. It's so pureed. Oh, it really is. Why do they make it so tiny? Okay, so you're gonna we're going to do this two like ways. Pate. One like this. Oh, look at that sun. I'm sorry. Ready? Yeah. Wow, it's actually not that bad. It's not it that bad. It needs some salt. It's not that bad. Let's put it on a pork rind because that's going to give it some seasoning but it's actually not that bad but you can this is taste, actually this is exactly how i would eat this but does it taste like beef 
I don't think yes, that Yes, it would... does. You know why? Because no. it makes me, it reminds me of corned beef hash. No. It well, does. It's probably should because it has that much garbage in it. Ready? Wow. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. It's really not great. And the pork rind actually, I feel like. The pork rind tastes better on its own. Yeah, I was going to say, it actually distracts from the pork rind. Yeah, because these pork rinds, maybe if you have plain pork rinds, right? Because plain pork rinds can be a little gamey. Yeah, th these aren't. These so are awesome. These are really good flavor. So if you had a, if you had a plain pork rind, it would probably be a little bit better. Yeah. But not bad. It's definitely edible. I'm going to eat it in a zombie apocalypse, but no other time. No other time? Like, no other time am I eating it. What about a hurricane? No. Okay. No. I'm eyeing the chickens at that point. What do you got? I, ham. I beer a ham or I wanna, red hot Polish I want to finish on that because I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like it's going to be good. Okay. So. I'm feeling like this is not going to be good. The ingredients in this are ham cured with water, salt, sugar, sodium phosphates, carrageenan, sodium erythrin, huh. and sodium nitrate. So the ingredients in this are actually better than the ingredients in this. Isn't that funny? Uh, serving size is two ounces. There's eight servings in this container. Eight. 100 calories per serving, nine grams of fat, seven grams of protein, less than one total carbohydrate. So we're back We're back in like normal C. Oh, yeah. That looks appetizing. Absolutely. Here's the, I, I never understood. I mean, it's fat. I know it's just the collagen and the gelatin. But it's but so like, gross it's looking. It's so unappetizing <laughs> when you see this like jelly nonsense. Maybe if Ooh, you like. Ooh, there you go. It's like a wave. We got like a wave of like that. Here's the thing about creamy. this. I love ham. I don't eat ham very often because ham is generally cured with sugar and a lot of it. I feel like you're getting it. way less than me. No, I'm not. I have a bigger piece. Yours is just wider. But dink. this is like... You're going to dink it? We is, didn't dink the last one. We didn't one. dink. Maybe that's why you but didn't But this is like good. chopped up. It's not like, you know, like this is like pressed ham. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> like pressed board. Ew. Wow. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The first hit on your tongue is yuck. Yeah. And then it's like, yep, it's ham. The first hit, though, is really bad. It doesn't taste like ham, a strong ham. It tastes like lunch meat. Like if you get a generic type of bologna that it's just like pork and chicken and ham and all kinds of stuff well, together. You know how I keep saying everything looks or st and tastes like dog food or cat food? Or it looks and smells like dog and cat food? Mm -hmm. The first taste of this tastes like dog food. Yeah. Then it's kind of like ham, but it's not ham. It tastes more like, like you're saying, just a combination of just every lunch meat podge. you've ever had. Like you go, you go make a lunch meat sandwich in your house, right? And yeah. you take, oh, I've got some chicken and I've got some ham and I've got some There's turkey. a club sandwich going on and in there. And you put like a slice of each and it's like, you can't really make a distinction of what meat you're eating. That's what you're eating here. I feel like if you cooked this though, if you had any kind of heat element just in this up. in this zombie apocalypse and you could put it on the Blackstone, it would probably fry up good. It would probably fry It would up be good. like a fried bologna situation okay this is what i'm i feel like is my consolation prize i hope it doesn't stink okay so this has vinegar brine which consists of water vinegar salt fd and c red number 40. why, why? do we have to put coloring into the pickling? i don't understand that. i don't need it to be we red. don't need it to be a color you're I good mean, but then again i know we eat with our eyes maybe and you associate red with hot because i've even talked to like chris akito chow like why add coloring and he's like because people expect, people expect for example something meant to be green well and i think that sometimes if you are probably pickling things that it might turn a color kind of like a sous vide turns a steak which is very unappetizing to start with yeah but the they had one that wasn't hot and it, it didn't it have didn't have anything in it. so i we're guess good you don't need to I'm, color it i guess we're just weird yeah so then we have mustard seed chili peppers flavoring what is flavoring flavoring I don't know. Beef heart meat. Ooh, here we go, honey. I, we didn't even see this when we picked this up. Wow. The ingredients. First I ingredient that. of the meat. So there's the most see, of it. See, that's the brine. Then we have beef heart meat. Wow. Then you have beef, pork, water, salt. Contains less than 2% of corn syrup, potassium, potassium lactate, flavoring, sodium phosphate, sodium diactate, sodium erythrobate, and sodium nitrate. Those are all preservatives. Yeah. Um, it's from the back road country. A serving size is three pieces. That's pretty generous because those are big. There's four servings per container, 110 calories per serving. 
uh, seven grams of fat, eight grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. Ooh, there's like peppers and pickles I mean, and everything else in there. They've pickled it responsibly. Let's see how it tastes though. I'm, I'm a little nervous it's gonna stink. There's an ant crawling around on the tripod. Aw. Oh yeah, it's a big one, whoa. Here we go. There's a big one for you. <laughs> Can I have a small one? It looks like a Oscar Mayer hot dog, doesn't it? Dink. Dink. Oh yeah. That is good. All day long. All day long I would eat that. That is good. What's the brand of this? Backyard. Backyard, Backyard country. country. That is vinegar and hot. It's a cross texture-wise. Mm-hmm. Softer than a Slim Jim. It's cr it's a cross. Here you go. Ready? It's a cross between a hot dog. Yeah. And um, beef jerky, like mm -hmm. a Slim Jim. It's not as tough as a Slim Jim, but it's not as soft as a hot dog. It's like halfway in between because the vinegar is starting to harden it a little bit. Yeah, that is that's good. But I mean, spicy. Spicy. You're getting a good spice to it, so and a lot of pickle. Had, like, you would go to Costco and they used to have, I don't know if they still have them, you can get the hot dogs or they had the hot sausages. Yeah. It's the hot sausage. Yeah. Flavoring that's good. is really good. Ingredients are really good. I mean, obviously there's a lot of preservatives in there. I want to fry that up though, too. Um, don't you think it would taste good? Oh, I just good? want to eat the whole thing. But they are hot. I mean, you can taste that chili pepper that's sitting in the bottom. It's really good. I just wish they weren't putting red number 40 in here, but I'm going to eat Just don't need these. it. This was, this was a pretty easy fear factor. Even outside of zombie apocalypse. Yeah. This was the worst, I think, for the me. The problem with this, I think the ham was worse. I can eat that. I don't want that ham. Really? I don't want the ham, but no. I want that. I'll finish that. Isn't that funny? Because you're thinking the first thing that you would reach for is a ham, is this, if you're doing your own fear factor at home. But we're starting to find that some of the stuff you wouldn't reach for, like kipper, Yep. is something that's really good and right. translates well. Calm down a little bit there, Missy. I liked it. Yeah, wait till somebody sends you balutes. Oh no, please don't. Please do not send that. This was a pretty easy fear factor. Um, we're running out of things. So make sure you use the address down below and send us some weird stuff. We yeah. do have some weird <laughs> stuff left, but we're saving that for Keto Fear Factor, Keto Camping Fear Factor episode Family 10. Edition. So of course it's number 10. So it's going to be Family edition. We've got Anthony on board. You're going to have to work on Caleb. I'll work on him. You're going to have to work him. on Caleb. Yeah. I'll, I'll leverage like the mom guilt. You know how that is. Mom guilt. Mom guilt? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you like seeing videos like this, there are a bunch of other fear factors that you can take a look at by clicking on the link right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we taste something gross, you'll be alerted to My it. My mouth is on fire. Until next time. Bye. bye.